Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. So that sounded awesome. Thank you. I'm just curious. Do you, have you gotten like the, your whole life like, oh my God, you have to become a singer because your voice is that strong and all that? Well, not at the beginning. It wasn't very nice and strong. <laughs> no, I've just kind of always wanted to be a singer. I've never really had to think about it. It's just kind of always been something I've wanted to do. And you've always had the gift, I take it, or no? Well, I don't know. Are you saying I have a gift? <laughs> you have a gift. Oh, thank you. You sound better than I do. <laughs> Anyone does that. Um, I'm sure that's not true. No, no, it really is. <laughs> I can, I'll join you on a duet. You Perfect. Know. I look yeah. forward to it. <laughs> yeah, my voice insults the deaf. It's true. So, um, talk to me about um, the two songs you performed. They're, they're off of an upcoming album, right? Yeah, my album's coming out this summer. Um, the first song I sung, Heartbreaker, is actually my single that's already out at the moment. I've mm -hmm. got a video for it online. So yeah, it's just a fun pop kind of upbeat song about, you know, typical men being heartbreakers. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the next We're one. We're assholes. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> and and then what about the second song? The second what? song is called Wind Me what? Up. Wind me um, up yeah. which I wrote about someone, you know, a friend of mine that was a friend and we kind of had a bit of a falling out. So I wrote a song about it. It was very therapeutic at the time. <laughs> I bet. I, like, I feel like you wanted to do the quote marks for the friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had a friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they can't see me, but they know that I'm doing the quotes. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. So, um, so talk to me a little bit about, you know, I, I know you're from England, right? And, yeah. Um, what do we need to know about you? Because your voice is awesome. And, and you know, I love the press releases that, that come out because it's like, she's part Shakira, part Sheryl Crow, part whatever. <laughs> Just one time I want people to like take two artists who have nothing in common and be like, she's a cross between Whitney Houston and Axl Rose. Like, <laughs> but I'm just curious, Yeah. Wh what should we know about you that what we don't already know? Already know? Well, I'm from London, I'm 19 years old. <laughs> it sounds like I'm like giving some sort of like description yeah. of Yeah, myself. seriously. Bye. Um, this is going straight on J-Date. <laughs> no, please don't. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know really, I just kind of, you know, I'm writing this album, it's kind of coming out, I don't know what else you want me to say. No, it's funny, well, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, you are 19, so automatically, and I, it's funny, because I've done A-sides with a bunch of like, you know, 17, 18, 19, and it's like, the, for a journalist, you have to be like, you're so young, but you sound so wise beyond you, and I yeah. don't want to do that, so I'm just yeah. trying to, you know, how would you classify yourself as an artist, I guess is what I'm saying. I kind of... I've basically made a pop album, but I've made sure, you know, that the songs are truthful and they're definitely experiences that have gone on in my life, so everything means something to me. And I always make sure I write songs that can relate to people, you know, like to, to the sort of wide range of people. So that's like the main thing about my music. And, you know, I like to make songs that are poppy, but I don't like to, you know, make it electronic. It's all very, I hate to use the word organic, but no, it's organic. I, I've written it with my band, we've recorded everything's live on the album, and, you know, I think. I think everyone will like it. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, even, you know, while before we were filming this, you were doing yeah. one, you know, two quick run-throughs of the songs, and of course they sound absolutely perfect. Probably as go on the album that's coming out. So, yeah, like, I not mean, a lot of people can do that. It's a stripped-back version, so yeah. my album's much more, you know, it's full-on, you know. Like, for example, the second song, Why Me Up, is quite rocky. Um, so it sound much softer then. No, it's nice. Who, who are the guys we were playing with? Because I should throw them a bone since they just abruptly <laughs> left the interview. So. They, my, the, the guitarist that was sat to my left is called Tim, um, and the one to my right is Joe. Joe actually produced my album as well. Oh, okay, um, cool. And we write everything together, us three. I just want to pan back because there's two empty seats. It's, okay. <laughs> it's lonely. It's lonely I know. Here. Sorry, they just left you with me. I'm sorry. Um, Cool. And where can we find out more about you? Obviously, your website and Twitter is just your name. Yeah, yes, it's just at Daniela Brooker. Um, and my website's daniellabrooker.com. And I'm on Facebook and everything else, Instagram, all of them. Cool. So it's just Daniela Brooker and you find everything. That's good. I yeah. mean, because some bands, like, they, you know, yeah. they come up with, like, names that are already taken for whatever exactly. reason. You know, like, my name's actually taken, which is, is pretty sad. Isn't that sad? <laughs> That's like, a nice Like, song. who am I? <laughs> But but it's a like an athlete from Virginia, so I'm actually good at sports, so I'm cool. Like that's, that's like yeah, now my, my parents have been waiting for me to be good at sports and I can just be like, look, I'm an African American football player in Virginia. <laughs> See? Um, cool. I really hate to go out on that note, but we will. <laughs> uh, I love it, it's a perfect note to Yeah, good luck. I hope you find your bandmates and yeah, I uh, want to look for them somewhere. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So one of them like around a dumpster. Like looking for food. No, 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 making that no, 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 I'm making it up. He was looking for money. All right, cool. All right. Thanks All right, so much. Thank you so much.